Now at six this week, Miami-Dade County celebrated the expansion of a water treatment plant. The goal is to help protect Biscayne Bay. But this expansion and others like it could mean changes for homeowners with septic tanks. CBS4's Yvonne Taylor explains how. Those solutions are a ray of light for families like the one who lives here. They're desperate to be connected to a sewage system. I'm tired of the septic tank. Monica Arenas does not look forward coming to her backyard. When her septic tank looks like this, it means she's going to have to reach deep into her pocket. So I have to pay a company every month um, to come here and clean it. $300 monthly. Septic systems process wastewater from toilets, sinks, and showers. Not every home has them, but the ones who do can face big problems. As you can see, it's now flooded and the water comes inside of the house. Wood floors were damaged. But the concern is there for more than just individual homeowners. We want to see septic tanks connected to the sewer system. Roy Colley is the director of the Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department. This week, they broke ground on a wastewater treatment plant expansion. The idea, more treatment plants will reduce septic tank use and eventually stop septic tank runoff from ending up in Biscayne Bay. What we're doing is, is making it possible that septic tanks can be converted. He says the immediate goal is to get rid of septic tanks like the one at Monica Arena's house. She lives close to the bay. What is it like when it rains here? It's horrible because it floats and you can see the human feces coming out. Uh, we're having a major, major problem with the septic tank. There are 120,000 septic tanks in Miami-Dade County. The Biscayne Bay Task Force, who examined the health of the bay, identified the septic tank leakage throughout this county as a primary contributor to nutrient pollution in the bay. Arena says paying to remove the septic tank would cost her a minimum of $7,000. If the county does it, it would be at no cost. Monica Arena says that she's been notified by Miami-Dade County that as soon as next month, they will start working on getting rid of her septic tank. In Northeast Miami, Ivan Taylor, CBS 4 News.